listen up entrepreneurs, you've hustled, you've pushed, you've done all the hard work of getting people to your landing page, to land on your website, to see all of your copy, all of your engaging thought process, all of your offers, everything. If you're not making it easy and simple for them to click through and complete the next stage, which is to book a call with you, if it's not easy to get on your calendar, if they have to search around and find where do I click? How do I book? Is there some really static form? Is it on a different web page? You're missing the point. You are leaving money on the table. With Calendly, you don't have to do that. It's a seamless integration. The user experience is incredible and you need to use this in your business. If you're not using it already, watch this video, follow along. Well worth 15 minutes of your time. Hi everyone. My name is Nick Johnson from Your AI Advantage. Welcome to video number two in our series. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Typeform with Calendly and embed that on your website, why it makes perfect sense to invest 15 minutes of your time learning how to do this. You need to make the user experience as seamless, as flawless as possible. Trust me on this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's start the video now. So guys, this is my webpage. This is what happens when you go to youraiadvantage.com. A couple of key things to point out here. Number one. Front and center, first thing people see when they land on this page is what we do as a business. Then we're asking them a very key question. Are you ready? Are you ready to seize your AI advantage? And making it nice and easy, nice and clear, this call to action, count me in this button, pretty hard to miss. Um, so that's what we're working on today is how can we funnel people from our landing page onto uh, our books and, and generate those leads and capture that information the idea being, you know, wherever you are on the page, there's a couple of different options, a couple of different buttons for you to click, ways in which you can engage and book a call with us. So all of these buttons actually go to the same page, uh, that page in particular being this one, which is youraiadvantage.com slash get in touch. And this is powered by Typeform. So this is the integration I'm going to show you today. Typeform is a really powerful way of generating leads and capturing that information from the people that have found you, found you on the web and gone to your page. And guys, it's worth me saying at this point, everything you see today in this video, everything that's demoed, that's Wix, Calendly and Typeform, I will include links in the comments below directly in YouTube. You can also find those resources and some other AI tools on my website, www.youraiadvantage slash resources. As ever, if this video is useful to you in any way, please like, comment, subscribe, engage with the other people who are watching and let's create a community of like-minded business owners who are really trying to leverage AI in their businesses so we can learn and grow together. You are prompted here to give your first and last name. Uh, cookies are, are going to get confusing here because I'm both the website owner and the prospect in this scenario. But as a prospect, this is the form you're faced with. It's not an overwhelming amount of questions to begin with. It's just your name, your number, your email, and you can configure all of this in the type form. Now, the beauty of this is that you don't have to load a page. You don't have to wait for that in order to progress to the next step. You can hit OK. You can hit this button here. And again, you are able to set up and ask any type of question for this. So you can ask uh, multiple choice questions where it's one or two answers or unlimited answers. You can capture all sorts of key data ahead of a discovery call with your potential customer. You can ask them free text, open-ended questions. But the most powerful thing about this is this piece, the integration with Calendly. So you can write in this form, one or two clicks away from your landing page, prompt people to book a free consultation, a free call with you. And Calendly, if you're not aware of it, is so powerful, particularly because it links with your diary. So for example, it's as simple as clicking a time when the prospect is free. And if I were busy, for example, from 11 till 12, it would not display these options to the prospect. It would only show them times at which I am free. So they're able to book, let's say 1 p.m. Uh, this would be also populated had I filled in the information earlier on in the form. So really as simple as clicking add guests, adding any information and scheduling event. And once the prospect clicks that button, an automatic diary entry is generated so this is Wix. This is how I have built my website. I would always recommend Wix. I think it's a fantastic product. It's a low code or no code, what's called a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get editor for a web page. You can also use WordPress if you are a little bit better at the HTML or CSS coding side of things, 
or there's some other things like Squarespace, some really good tools out there as well. This integration will work with all of those, but it's a little bit simpler with Wix. So if you're looking to upgrade your website, if you're looking to start from scratch, this is a fantastic place to start. So what I've done here with Wix is create a couple of demo pages, demo landing page and a demo type form page. You saw in the first example, I had the home page and I redirected people to the get in touch page. We're going to do a similar thing here, but starting from scratch. So first thing we need to do, if you're building your web page, you want to add in something like a welcome or a call to action. So we can drag and drop and select an element to go there. So that looks good to me. We are now, as you see, we're now able to edit this in real time. So each of these elements, the text, the background, the button, we are able to edit as we go. So if I want to customize this design, I can scroll down. There are some existing options. We can change the colors so that it fits our logo, our brand. Stylistically, we want to do that, but I'm just going to click yellow for now to denote that it's a little bit different to the front page. And then the other thing that's very important is to amend the link. Now, this link for our purposes, we actually want to be redirecting users that click on this button to go to a page. The specific page will be the one where we host the type form. Let's redirect people to the type form page there. So we press done. And now that button, if we were to hit preview and test this, that button would redirect people to our demo type form page. So at the moment, if we go to the demo type form page, you can see it's pretty much blank, which is what we want. This is where we're going to add in the code, add in the HTML element of the type form. Next thing that we need, and you can do it either way around, is going to be a Calendly event that you can schedule here and create in Calendly or a form in type form. Now, this is the form I have already created. I've kept it relatively simple, two or three different types of questions. And this is where, you know, you can select the type of question you want to ask people, a statement, do you agree with it? Choose a picture, for example, yes, no questions. I would advise at this level, you're really just capturing the key pieces of data and getting an understanding of what this person is looking for so that you're not going in completely blind. The really powerful piece is this Calendly integration. And you can do that by adding a new question. I already have the question here. You click add new question and you want to go down to Calendly here in date and scheduling. And that will prompt you initially in this box on the right hand side to link with your Calendly account. So mine's already set up. But for example, this is Calendly and you need to first create an account in Calendly and then create an event type. For me, one on one interview, video interview phone conversation, discovery call, whatever you want to call it. This is the most powerful. This is the most influential. You can set things like the color, the event link details, description instructions, for example, please add your phone number in case of technical issues. But you could set that as a Zoom meeting. Now, this is a, a further integration with Zoom which I won't cover here. It's pretty self-explanatory. I may cover it in another video, uh, but the event name, let's just call discovery call. And now we can save this one in electric line, set the duration as 15 minutes, custom hours. Uh, we can allow people within a certain date range. You can pick working hours. And of course it integrates with your diary. So if I were to go into my outlook, and block out some time, those options would not be available to the prospects looking on the website. Do we want to add time before or after the event? Let's say, yes, I want 15 minutes to prepare beforehand. Hit next, and that saves this as an event that you can then integrate directly with Typeform back on the Typeform page. Back to Typeform, we have this configured. What we can also do is amend the design. I've got this one in blue, but you can change the color and the theme. I'm gonna edit this theme. It's a nice red color. And you can play around with the colors. You can change that to whatever you think is best. I'm actually not going to save that one. 
because blue fits better with my brand. So I'll hit revert there. And once you're happy with this, with the theme, with the logos, the sizes of the questions, medium, small, large, buttons, system font, everything else, you can then amend the logic if you wanted to. I would suggest you keep it quite simple, but there is an option here to ask different questions depending on the previous answer. Uh, but if we stick with questions, confirm that that all looks good. I'm happy with each of these and then press publish. The next thing that we get is this link pop up and we want to go and click on embed. That's the important thing. So I'm going to click on full page embed, which just means there is this option to embed the type form as a full page. You can embed it as a, a pop-up, a side tab, pop over. You can actually turn it into a chat if you wanted to, which is, you know, it could be a better fit for your brand image if you wanted to do that. Asks the same questions, captures the same information, but this is maybe a better way of doing things for you. Uh, let's stick with this and we'll click start embedding. And this is about as technical as it gets with this integration. So really easy to do. Uh, Wix is not here on this option, but I'm going to click general embeds, hit copy, find my site builder, and then open the code view. So we go back to the Wix website editor. All we need to do here is add elements and we find embed code here on the left-hand side. We want to click embed HTML, add to site. paste that code from Typeform integration and then press update. And now you can see we have got our Typeform working neatly on this page and we can expand the size of the element so we can go full screen. And I can come back and play around with these configurations, but for the moment, I'm happy with it as it is. If I wanted to change this from the chatbot function again, what I would have to do is go back to Typeform and actually go back one step, amend things here. If I want to change the color, for example, I'd have to amend it first, then press start embedding again, go back to Wix or WordPress or whatever it is you were using. And I would just simply do exactly that step again. I would add in HTML, or in fact, we can probably right click this and edit the code, and update the code that way. And that's it. So now we can see if we go to our demo landing page, hit preview and test this integration with the demo page. We can click that button that start now and it redirects us to this embedded code. Let's get started. First name, a little bit impersonal. So I probably wouldn't use the chat function unless you've configured it properly, uh, but I can write John. And it will ask me for my last name, my email address, my phone number, and so on before giving me that option to book directly on the web page without several refreshes all the way through to that Canonly integration. So I can book directly and we can capture these leads and start working with these prospects.